Hi, this is Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com, and in this video we'll be demonstrating our new live gallery module. So let's get started. First we'll go ahead and log in as a super user or as an administrator, and in our case we'll just log in as a host. So once you're logged in, go ahead and begin by placing a module live gallery from the control panel to the page. Once we have our module, We'll go ahead and set up a, a gallery with this module in a matter of few clicks. So let's begin and let's add some images to the gallery. Live gallery has a really nice Ajax. Okay, so let's add a few pictures. We'll click on the browse control and here we have some sample pictures. We can go ahead and just choose one picture or we can go ahead and drag the cursor and select multiple or we can just do control A for all the pictures. So let's go ahead and select all the pictures and let's upload them in. As you can see, uh, Live Gallery has a really, really nice Ajax base uploader, and it's, as it loads each image, it shows you the progress and uh, and the real time update as well. So we're almost done here, and all the pictures are are being uploaded. As soon as every picture is uploaded, it's going to show pictures uploaded successfully, and we'll just go ahead and click on update. And there we go; we have our gallery right there in front of us. Now, Live Gallery aims at a very simple gallery but it uses some really uh, highly sophisticated technologies in the background to make things like drag and drop sorting possible so that's it that's how easy it is if you want to sort your images you grab an image you drop it wherever you want it's just as simple to go ahead and delete your images you don't like this one it's gone you don't like this one it's gone and it's just as simple to go ahead and add captions so if you want to add a caption to this image you just click here and say this is a blue whale hit enter and there it is there's a caption so let's click on it and there's a caption that appeared and if we go ahead and click on any other image obviously there's no captions as you can see there's navigation controls to go back and forth there's an option to go ahead and close as well so let's go ahead and add a couple more images and this time what we're going to do so we're actually going to go ahead and create a new album earlier we had just went ahead and added some few images so this time we'll go ahead and create an album We'll call this uh, Windows 7 Sample Pictures. We need a description, so we'll say a few of the sample images that come with Windows 7. So let's go ahead and add album. And now that we have added our album, we can go ahead and upload pictures. I've already demonstrated how the browse control works. So let's go ahead and take a look at another feature of Live Gallery, which allows you to choose existing images on your site. So let's click on Browse Images. And here's what it does. It brings all the images from your site that's on your site. Now this is a neat feature. Notice it doesn't show you the boring file name drop down. It's actually showing you the picture. So you can visually look at the one you want, click it, and add it in. So we can go ahead and choose any directory from the portal. Let's take a look at sample pictures. And here's some sample pictures I have that we can add in. There's actually support for directories that are secured. There's actually support for directories that are on database. Let's go ahead back and uh, add some of these sample pictures. I'm just going to add one or two because these are not actually the window sample, these are Vista. And I'll just go ahead and add and demonstrate that. So we've added those pictures and notice now we're in Windows 7 sample pictures. If you go to the home page, the gallery home page, you have an album called Windows 7 sample pictures. Let's go ahead and add, actually let's go ahead and add another album. And call this actual <laughs> Windows 7 sample pictures. Some description goes here and then let's go ahead and actually this time add some of the Windows 7 sample pictures which are not there so let's see if we can find them. They're right here. So let's go select these and upload them in and once again each picture gets uploaded shows the real-time progress another neat feature of live gallery is when the picture is uploaded you can optionally specify to resize the picture for you some of the windows 7 pictures are really high resolutions and that's the case when you take pictures with a digital camera they usually are 10 megapixels you don't want to upload 10 megapixel pictures on your website because it will take forever for people to see them so windows live gallery actually resizes your pictures while you upload them Let's go ahead and update this and take a look. We just created another album called when actual actual Windows 7 sample pictures. It should have been actual instead of actually. So let's see how we can edit an album. Click here to edit an album. Go ahead and update the spelling mistake. Hit back update and it's fixed.
actual Windows 7 album pictures. Now the drag and drop sorting we saw earlier is not limited to images only. You could actually just as easy click on this album, drag it here. And you've sorted the album, you, you, you want your Windows 7 sample pictures which are actually Vista sample pictures. So let's change that as well to be there. So that's what we have here. If you want to delete an album, for example this this one album, go ahead and click on the delete icon. You have two options. Either you can delete the album and all the child albums and image into it. Now Dotnet allows you to Live Gallery Dotnet module allows you to create as many albums as you want within albums into a hierarchical structure. So you could have nested albums. So if you have a lot of content within that album, you can go ahead and delete it or move all that can content to another album. So we'll go ahead and move it either to the root or to another album. So in this case, let's move those two images we had into this particular uh, album. So if you go right here, you'll, so you'll see that besides the Windows 7 images, we have the two images from Vista up here. here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete them and we'll return back to our gallery home. Okay, let's demonstrate nested albums. I have Windows 7 sample pictures album here. Let's go ahead and create another album. And its parent album is going to be Windows Sample. And I'm going to say I'm Child Album 1. And I'm going to just go ahead and, and demonstrate nested album really quick. So some description goes here. I'll go ahead and add. And as you can see, now there's a child album within the sample picture. Let's go ahead and add another one. This time you can add it to the child album. So I could say child, child's child album and its description. So as you can see there's no limit. You can go ahead and create as many nested albums as you want. They appear in a nested order. So let's go ahead and uh, go back and take a look at our nested structure. There's the first album, there's the second album, and there's the third album with it. Alright, so having covered the basics, let's look at some of the options we have in Live Gallery. If you go ahead and click Options, one of the really nice features of Live Gallery is its thumbnail, automatic thumbnails management. A user can go ahead and simply specify the height and width of these thumbnails. And these thumbnails are actually generated on the fly and they're never saved, so it saves you this space. And then they're cached, so they're never created every time someone comes. So Live Gallery is optimized for performance. Let's go ahead and go ahead and change the width to 60 pixels and let's go ahead and update and see how it has reduced the size of the thumbnails here. Similarly we can go ahead and change that to 125, 125 and you will go ahead and see that it reflects that now. So that's a pretty powerful feature. Sometimes you have images that are best seen in their original aspect ratio. If you look at our current setting, it's a crop image, and we're giving it a square, one uh, equal proportion, 125 by 125. Now these images are not originally square; they have their own portrait landscape ratio. So if you go constrain proportions and hit update, you will see that these images are actually into a landscape mode. And because we had a crop image functionality set, it was cropping it to make it square. You can go ahead and show crop constrained images just like this if you desire so. There's one more feature in there to kind of balance between constrained images and a nice looking squared image and that's called pad image. You can go ahead and maintain the original proportions of the images but still create a squared thumbnail. Whatever is the leftover part will be padded with a given color. So let's go ahead and choose a color. We'll call this a black color and then let's go ahead update and there you go you have these black bars on top and bottom now you see you have squared thumbnails and but you have a constrained image now this is very effective if you're gonna mash the color to your background so it blends in now you're gonna have very identical looking consistent thumbnails yet they are constrained to their original aspect ratio so that's an awesome feature so this is what Live Gallery has to offer in a nutshell and uh, we hope you like the module if there's any questions pre-sales or support feel free to ask them thank you for watching the video